It's Bulldog Bill Feingold on K News Radio. Tonight you're mine. Completely think with me. You know this song, Dorothy? No, I don't. What? It's from you our era. Come on, girl. <laughs> Completely <laughs> tonight the light of love is in your eyes. In but will you will you love me tomorrow? But will you love, love me? Tomorrow. It's the Bulldog, and we're back in the studio. I couldn't sing last night at Angelina's. The, the, the weather was affected by beautiful verse. We're here with Dorothy Dale Kloss from the Follies. And, and, and Dorothy is 85 years old. She's still alive and looks like a young Dorothy Loudon. And you, you don't steal the show. You're just fabulous because everybody in the show is. I don't want to, you know, disrespect oh, the other people. Oh, she steals the whole freaking show. <laughs> Who's the woman? Judy, what's her name? Judy she, Bell. Oh, what a Our voice. Our featured singer. Whoa. Isn't she great? Oh, she sings she... like I do when I'm in the shower. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about that. No, her voice comes like where Ethel Merman's, you know, her vocal cords from the oh, Netherlands. Yeah. You know, they're, they're oh, low. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. When you have your throat checked, you go to the gynecologist. Oh. That's our Judy Bell. <laughs> she's fabulous in the show. And you know, Judy's been in the show for 15 years. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she's been in it uh, a year more than... Than you. Yeah. So, yeah. so you two have a competition? No, because no. she sings. I dance. She, yeah. <laughs> you just dance. you don't sing ever, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. You but, do but, but but I'm more of a dancer than I am a singer. Okay, but let's mm. let's sell tickets. Well, that's what, let, when is the when could people go to the Follies and Greg? You could talk. How do they get a hold of? How do they buy tickets to see the fabulous Follies? Well, they can just go online at psfollies.com or call our box office at three two seven zero two two five. We're just going into our peak season now. We'll be doing nine shows a week. Oh, dark. my God. <laughs> no, that's a lot. I mean, we do one a night. And Kevin We're goes, exhausted. Oh, he needs oxygen. <laughs> this is radio. We don't. I dance. And we just he sit doesn't. here. No, oh, I boy. dance. You do get up and do a little dance every once in a while. Yeah, I do dream girls. It's very comical. Yeah. <laughs> Our cast is there from, what, 11 hours, 10, 11 hours? Oh, really? Well, we're in the theater at 1230. Um, and then the show is at one thirty, so we put on our makeup, and I go upstairs and limber up, right, and get my heart going, you know, right, and um, and then the show starts at one thirty, and we're out around uh, five. Wow. And then if we're doing two shows, then I go home because I'm very close. Okay. Have dinner back in the theater at six thirty. Do the second show starting at seven, wow. and we get out at eleven. Seven eleven. That's at seven eleven. That's yes. amazing. Yeah. Do you Amazing. Have, because you've been in the show, what, 14 years? Mm -hmm. Is it, do you have any say, do you, do you go to riff and say, I'd like to do this this year? You know, like the Bulldog said, Dorothy, this is the song you should do. And he says, screw you. No, I mean, who oh, writes no, no, the show? Oh, no, 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 no. He's a listener. Oh, good. No, he's a listener. And I tell you what is, is quite um, <coughs> marvelous about working for Mr. M is that he finds your talent. You don't really have to tell him. Mm -hmm. He will find it along the way, one way or another. Is that not true? Sure. And um, if, if he sees something special in you, then he's going to try it out. And he's oh, going to let great. you do it. And like, you know... Is I, he like a Ziegfeld? Is he like Mr. Ziegfeld? Like, oh, how did you know? See, so I, I could see Absolutely. Barbara, you know, right? Absolutely. He's Florence Ziegfeld. He is. Yeah. And he's brought it back. Actually, Kay Ballard said, says, uh, she calls him uh, Mr. Uh -huh. Z. Well, mm -hmm. that's a, the biggest compliment Bigger, you could get. Absolutely, because he had the most, and to the girls and boys in the show. Yeah. After all, Ziegfeld had the most beautiful girls in the world. Yes, well, look at you. Like, yes. Well, whatever. But and the guys are great in the show. Let's give yeah. them credit. Oh, I mean, do they wear not. trusses? I mean, <laughs> no. sometimes I worry. I think there are a couple who are wearing trusses. I just thought, oh, well, I oh did just, you have to give it away? I know. Well, <laughs> tap dancing when you're 70 is all. But this, some of the people in the show, seriously, they're like, what, 52? There's a 52-year-old. Isn't there someone 52 or something? 55 is our youngest. 55? Oh, yeah. John. John. A, okay. A, young guy. I'm fabulous. Yes. They're all fabulous. But, but uh, the thing is, like with the girls, though, like Glenda was a rockette. Right. And um, she, is, she came at the same time I did. And um, Glenda is 10 years younger than me. She's 75. And then, you know, like Jill Owens, who is our uh, dance captain. And um, she does all the rehearsals if we need to change something, you know, like, you know, like, were you at the show when, when Lark 
fell yesterday no. on the stairs. No. But I mean, she. Well, these are things. Things happen. Things happen. She went down four stairs. Ooh. But and listen, you Ouch. know what was really? Well, she's the younger one. You right. see, they thought it was me. No. Nope. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. Well, you, I was still on my feet. Right. You said the word. How long do you rehearse to get the show? Uh, you know, ready six to weeks. open six, six weeks. weeks. And how long are rehearsals? Oh, rehearsals are. Uh, we go in usually at ten, and and in the beginning we get out around five or five thirty, and then as you know it goes longer, then it's like six, and then we get into the last two weeks or so, and that's very tedious because Mr. M is doing the lights and we're doing music right. and so you have all that to do plus you have all the costume fittings mm -hmm. and you know we have our own sem uh, seamstresses upstairs uh, mostly that. gay men I looked at the no no no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I saw a lot of men sewing beads on all the costumes well, we have a few but yeah. just but saying have, I mean that's why the costumes are superlative well, well, we, have, we have a wonderful young uh, girl T2 who is uh, she designs a lot of the costumes and so you know we're just like our own little family and company isn't that true Greg I mean yeah we we really we build our own sets uh, we design them here yeah. yes we have um, a, a full costume shop which right it, it really takes a year from the time they first. It's, no, the show them. is. I mean, if anyone's never been to them, I've seen it now three times. It's 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 a fabulous show, and and you get the audiences just eat it up. The audiences love the show. I want to ask how, real quick: How heavy are some of those headdresses that you guys wear? Well, for some people, they're heavier than others. Right. I mean. <laughs> I mean, some of them look like they're just really heavy. Heaven's thinking of the I Love Lucy, where Lucy walks down the stairs and the head, she falls back. I, listen, they have pity on me because I'm so old, you know. But So I have a light one. But they're about 20, 25 pounds. Wow, they're amazing, though. Yeah. yeah. Those costumes yeah. are awesome. And, and, and the girls that carry them, uh, they really have to be careful with them how they you know they have to be very straight right you can't be yeah, bobbing oh. from side to side because i mean it could you know i also want to tell you something about kevin because time oh kevin God. kevin likes to dance at hunters you know hunters on arena uh -huh. <laughs> but of course i do <laughs> he, kevin dances on a box on a black box and he falls off every oh, once in a while please. without a headdress i have fallen off <laughs> once without a headdress <laughs> There was alcohol involved. There was alcohol involved. <laughs> but let me, I have to thank Dorothy Dale Claus. Thank you so much. Who, uh, who is you. just the most fabulous part of the Follies. Uh, thank you, you, you so You do much. star in the Follies. I mean, oh, hell, you're 85 nice. and you're gorgeous. Hey. If you haven't seen the Follies, go and see the Follies.